Let's go a little further south down the border. We've gone to Queensland. Now let's go to New South Wales, where more madness in our schools, or one school in particular anyway, where they've been distributing a Year 9 textbook that talks about gender in such terms as, quote, having a vulva doesn't necessarily mean you're a woman and want to use women's spaces like bathrooms. So we know what this textbook is saying. It's buying into all the transgender agenda, saying, look, you know, gender, sex, it's all a continuum. No one knows what any of it actually means. It's not a binary situation, even though we know that male and female is binary and it is assigned at birth. There is nothing you can do about that. But this textbook says, no, 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 no. Just because you are assigned male or female at birth, it doesn't make you a man or a woman. Now, we should note that this is not part of the broader curriculum of New South Wales. It is one particular school that is choosing to do this. But I would implore parents, and a parent... The reason this has come to light is a parent at this school saw what their kid was being given and, and raised the alarm. Take your kids out of schools if this is what they are being taught. Send them somewhere else. Because it's the only way the message can be gotten through yeah. that we don't want this. If you stand by and go, well, oh, look, I like the school otherwise they will continue to push this agenda. Money talks. And this was an independent school Correct. as well. Yeah. So this isn't the backwater of public schools where, sadly, this has now come to be expected. People are almost surprised if you don't find this kind of fair in the school library. But what this book is saying, they add a personal development lesson in the textbook saying, up until recently, it was widely believed that if you were assigned male at birth, you would grow up and become a man. If you were assigned female at birth, you'd grow up and become a woman. But these ideas are constantly shifting. Again, and this is a year nine textbook yeah. at this school. So we're talking about 14-year-olds, thereabouts, someone who is extremely mm. a sponge still at that age. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the reason why this gets me so arced up was because at that age, I was a raging tomboy. I grew up in, in country Victoria. I always liked the motorbikes, the boys' stuff. I never wanted to play Barbies. And if these flogs came across me today, I tell you what, I, you would have had a really confused kid on your hands. I never wanted to be a boy, but they would have convinced you, oh, hang on a minute, you wear jeans and T-shirt all the time, you don't like dresses, etc., and so on, and would have fed this propaganda into you at such a stage. Of course, a 14-year-old who has been told, another direct quote from this appalling book, that they have to interrogate their own relationship with their sex. Oh, kid, it's not a given. No, no, you thought that you were a girl. No, no, you've got to interrogate the relationship with your sex. And let's remind everyone, this is before the age that it is even legal to be sexually active in this country. So why are you getting kids to ponder on these things? Really, the, why won't you just yeah. let them be kids? The, the quote you read is the most pernicious part of this because... The interrogating yeah, your the, own sex. The other stuff is it's unscientific, it's untrue, but telling Year 9 students, and you said Year 9 students are questioning things, but worse no, than that... they're still at that really young level. Everyone knows age. Year 9 is the worst year group in high school. That's when they're the most rebellious. They're, they're really searching for identity sure. in Year 9. Everyone knows that. And so to be telling them they need to interrogate and wrestle with their sexuality because it's not a given, it's worse than just planting untruths. It's actively encouraging them to question things that should be a given. Mm. And so mm. no wonder we get headlines like this, a uh, recent headline in NBC News, uh, quoting a study that found nearly 30% of Gen Z adults now identify as LGBTQ. That's a national survey conducted in the United States. Well, it's not by accident. Activists are literally poisoning the stream, and we're seeing that in books like this. And it goes right through to university. One of my boys has just started uni mm. this week, and he came home and told me that at his university, he counted, as he walked into the main um, entrance, he counted 20 flags promoting LGBTQ with the slogan, be who you are. He said, Dad, there was one flag welcoming me to the university with the wow. university's name. <laughs> yeah. Now, he's a, 
He's an 18-year-old kid, but he said it was so apparent what was going on. Was there any Australian this flags everywhere? There, there was could, no could Australian flag. Can flags. I celebrate who I am in, in being Australian? No, or no, anything but Australian. Australian. Or, or must I just walk in and say, I'm gay, in order to, to accept fit Accept me, accept me. I know, me. exactly. But see, that, that powerful visual as well, for kids who are yeah. still young, they're not all that confident and now I'm a grown-up just because I'm in uni. No, you're all of 18. That is a powerful visual visual that tells you upon entry, yep. do not besmirch the good name of this religion. Correct. This is holy. This is untouchable. Do not question anything that has anything to do with this agenda as you walk into our premises.